said, oh, we'll charge him a little bit and it'll, it'll all work out in the end, right? And so they're all pretty much on board with this. They'll say, okay, yeah, no problem. It's, you have, it's a great price and it's less than everybody else anyway. And yeah, we've always wondered is. why you did it for free. And, and, and we said, well, we'll still do it for free, free at Christmas time. Once we get the, the car bill caught up, you know, right. then, then everything will be fine. But we went to one and it's a nonprofit. And they said, well, we don't pay entertainers because we're a nonprofit. And so we were like, well, wait a minute. What about the lawn guy? You pay him? He's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know why we were singled out. Uh, you know, yeah. But, but anyway. they want entertainers to be there for the residents. Yeah. So. But they won't pay. But anyway, and, and I'm not picking on that one. Nor am I being judgmental. I really just, no. I'm just confused by the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, and it all depends on the charters of the nonprofit. So they may be allowed to have some expenses and not others, and, and it, it all depends on how they were oh. set up and how their board runs it. Right, and what you're saying is that the people who said that to us have no control over it. It's not their fault. Correct, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah. somebody made that decision somewhere. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, somebody said, well, this is what we can spend money on, and this is what we can't yeah, spend yeah, on. Yeah. And all nonprofits are usually, I, I, I just counter, counter, contradict myself. Nonprofits are run by boards, and so the boards make um, some most of the decisions. Right, Not necessarily right. the day-to-day, -day, but the, the big overarching decisions. Right. So the board would decide that. So, I would think. So I'm, gu I'm guessing if you have enough people who are willing to do stuff for free, mm -hmm. then you make a decision on the board to never pay any of them. Yeah. So if, if you've if you got a long guy who comes every week and says, I'll, I'll cut the grass for free, mm -hmm. the, and out of his good, goodness of his heart, and then that guy, right. di that guy dies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, I, then I guess you're out of luck because the next guy's not going to want to do it for free. Exactly. Yeah. They're going to want to get yeah. paid, which sure. they should be. they got to put food on their table, too. So sure. anyway, it's not what I want to talk to you about today. I, I want to talk to you about egos <laughs> and cargo shorts. Nice. <laughs> That's a great combination. <laughs> but cargo first, shorts aren't as cool as they used to be. Oh, really? Oh, wait till you oh. hear how uncool they are. <laughs> wait till you hear how uncool they are. So, so, uh, wait till you wear sandals and socks. <laughs> <laughs> I've been known to rock that before. Have you? Okay. There you go. I can picture that actually. In fact, yeah. I think I saw a photo. My feet get cold. My feet get cold, so I don't like to wear sandals. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I always wear open toe sandals, not like flip flops, so I can wear socks with them. I know. Yeah, I know. yeah but that's cold. good. Oh, I'm not a, I'm not the fashion police by far. <laughs> My well, dad wore that too. His feet got. <laughs> you can pull it off after you reach a certain age. And so once you reach that certain age, you might as well embrace it. I guess there you so. Go. I guess and that's you're there. true. I guess that's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm there. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> so how is the blood supply? What do we need to know? Uh, we need, um, you know, our, our negative unit. So we need O negative and B negative and A negative. And uh, we, we need our platelet donors. And uh, just we need everybody to get out there and donate blood. We have a three-day blood supply right now. And so, we again, we'd like to have that up to about a seven-day blood supply. So just get out there. When you see the blood mobile, just get in it and uh, give the gift of life and donate blood. By the way, I haven't given you an idea in a long time, but I have one for you. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. But first, let me tell you this: that that message that Galen just gave you is sponsored by Penn Flooring. They have some beautiful flooring for you to go look at and, and consider for your own home. You're remodeling from the floor up. Put mm -hmm. that floor that you've always dreamed about down in your home, and you will say, "I am walking on sunshine." Exactly. <laughs> They're wonderful. Uh, Penn Flooring has been Variety. in business in our area for over a quarter of a century. They are located at. 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just by the McKay Williams Bridge, a few blocks from Pine Avenue on 17th Street. And the building says Penn Flooring on it. They've got a showroom over there and uh, a lot of knowledgeable sales representatives. They'll help mm -hmm. you out with your decisions and put it in for you and explain how to care for it, and you'll be a happier homeowner. Yep. Yeah. All right. Go to thank Penn Flooring for what they okay. do for us here. All right, yeah. so I have an idea for you, and then and then let's talk about egos and cargo shorts. So the the idea is from a trending thing that people are starting to call their teams armies. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, like yeah. it used like it used to be Team Life South or Team W O C A. Right. Correct. Now yeah. it's the right. W O C A Army. Like with yeah. a with an army, we're coming in. Oh my! It, it was the nation for a while. It's been squad. Right, right. right. It's yes. Been, yeah. So, yeah, so, absolutely. but my idea for you one. specifically is not to call it the Life South Army. 
but to call each each blood type like a branch of the military like the O negative Navy you know oh how cool I'm part of the B positive Marines yeah or- <laughs> <laughs> so we, whatever your blood type is, you become part of, uh, you know, like Robin. What are you? A negative? Yeah. The, the A negative Coast Guard. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> we'll let you. We'll let that. you and the board of directors, you and Colleen and Tom, you, <laughs> you guys can figure out which branch goes to which blood type. But there you go. Because there then we go. feel akin to other people. I, I will feel akin to other people who are B positive. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll say to Sergeant Curley when he comes in here, are you part of the B-positive Marines? He goes, yes, I am. <laughs> he's, a, he's a Marine. I see that? You were kidding right. to him. Then. Just so you know, he's a Marine. <laughs> I mean, a yeah, real Marine. Great. Yeah. Oh, he uh, hugs, though. Yeah. A B-positive he's wonderful. blood Marine, maybe. Yeah. That's a cool idea. Very clever. Although, although in a way, it kind of d- takes away from the, the true s- veterans, so maybe yeah. we don't want to do that. That's the problem oh there you so, go all right so come up with something else there you go yeah <laughs> S- some other profession <laughs> you know, the, truth is, the, the truth is is that the b positive uh, first violinists yeah there you 90% go 90 percent of the population has no idea what their blood type is i, I bet you uh, wait wait a minute how many of how many blood donors know probably now again we have to qualify what the word blood donor means and how frequently they have to donate but um, the person who donates, let's say, less than twice a year, right? Um, but it considers himself a blood donor. Probably sixty percent don't know their blood type. Really, you you would think that everybody who yeah. donates blood would know their blood type. Why? Yeah. And Why? The truth is, is there, it, well, yeah. Because, because it's interesting. Because them. it's curious. You're curious. What is my blood type? Then once you know it, you know it. Right. Mm-hmm. You would think, yeah. And but <clears throat> the, the, the truth is, is there's no real reason for you to know your blood type. No, but everybody always asks it. You know, it's it's a it's a bar to- topic. You know, when yeah, you're picking exactly. up a girl. Hey, yeah, what's your, what's your blood? <laughs> so is that your line, Larry? I mean, we've talked about lines on the show a lot. Yes, and yes. I didn't know if that was your go-to line. It is. Uh, now I don't really ask them. I tell them mine. <laughs> we uh, should talk offline. I'll belly up to the bar. Way. Wait, I'll belly up to the bar. <laughs> and when I say belly up, I, I mean I mean belly up. So I, I, be- Absolutely. I, I belly up to the bar, and I, I you know I see a young chickadee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we should uh, maybe we should talk I a say, little bit offline about your pickup line. You like I, I say I say uh, hey how do you feel about guys who like to be positive? Mm-hmm. Uh, she said uh, are you creepy or what? No, no I happen to be positive. Mm-hmm. In fact, I'm so positive I'm be positive. <laughs> <laughs> like honeybee. That's right. Like pollinating right. honeybees. <laughs> You see? I, I don't know. I, see, I, see where this I, I is going? I that not working for you. I mean, pretty sure that I didn't say it wasn't working. <laughs> I did not say oh, it no, wasn't no, working. That, that's going to work. I think that's going to work. You what are you, what that. are you drinking? It's club soda. Yes. Because I be positive. That's right. You're the designated driver always. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> the, there's nobody else in my car, but I am the designated <laughs> no, driver. Yes. Uh-huh. I used to take my dog, but she doesn't come along anymore. No, there you go. Uh, all right, so cargo pa- car- cargo shorts and uh, and uh, and egos. Yes. So here's the here's the letter, the open letter to all of us men. Are you ready? From women. Yeah. From women. Okay. Dear men. Absolutely. Dear men, please stop wearing cargo shorts. This is not a drill. A deadly <laughs> plague has infected America for far too long. It's contaminated our neighborhoods. Suburbia hasn't been the same since and killed men off in the comfort of their own homes. Dads everywhere are at highest risk. Even our pets have been traumatized. The cat is obviously terrified. Scientists call this plague cargo shorts, and we must finally kill this infection once and for all. <laughs> all right, here, here's the problem. I'm going to speak for a lot hold of on, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll be right back. To you by oh, MyFWC.com. Okay. Safe boating is no accident. For today, intervals of clouds and sun with a couple of thunderstorms around, mainly during the afternoon hours over the interior, the high today, 89 to 93. It'll turn out partly cloudy tonight, warm and sticky, though, 74 to 78. Tomorrow, partly sunny with a couple of thunderstorms around, mainly during the afternoon hours over the interior, the high tomorrow, 88 to 92. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. 
At a recent Alzheimer's fundraiser hosted by Hawthorne Village, Wanda, the Alzheimer's mascot was brazenly abducted. Palm Garden of Ocala is being considered a center of interest based on the ransom note cleverly disguised on the center letterhead. Local officials are conducting an in-depth investigation to learn how to help pay Wanda's ransom or join the Ocala Alzheimer's Walk on September 9th called Jan Marino at Palm Gardens, Ocala, 854-6262. Stay informed on everything going on in the villages with the Village Spectator newspaper. The Village Spectator is exclusively devoted to the villages with news, commentary, and more. And yes, they have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs, and all we ask is that you tell them where you heard about them. Call Tom's Picks at 804-1223 and pick up your copy of the Village Spectator today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. Thank you, Joe. 16 minutes after 8 o'clock, Galen Newnold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. We're just yucking it up as we usually do in the mornings. And let me see what the temperature is. Just, just so you know, just so you know, it's uh, 70, 73 degrees. Galen, where are you right now? Uh, I'm just outside of Ocala. How was the first day of school for the kids? Uh, they got through it. Isn't that the important thing? You that, know, I mean, they figured the out what thing. bus they're on. They yeah. figured out where the classes are. No any, drama. Any girlfriends in their lives yet? No. No, no girlfriends. Not that I'm aware of. So, no. th- so, th- so they can wear cargo shorts. Nobody will tell them to stop. Yeah, and again, let's get back to cargo shorts. The right. problem with this is right. a, a husbands and fathers are so late to the style game. Right, exactly. Right? Now, you know, when you're men. single... You just say men. You, men. Well, no, because when you're single, it's important what you look like it, and what you wear because you control it. And you do that. I, I honestly, I, I don't buy my own clothes because I have to buy clothes for my wife and my kids. And so my shorts are, I keep shorts for like eight or nine, ten years. I would probably have a pair of shorts that are <laughs> 25 years old. Do you have cargo and shorts? Will, I've got dresses that old. <laughs> okay, so my, so my point is, is because of that, I am so far behind the times. I got a pair of cargo shorts. And I'm like, this is awesome. I got all this storage space. So <laughs> I, I will wear them for years. Well, I think this is the problem. Like two years old. I don't think it's the pockets that's the problem. I think it's the fact that guys are actually using the pockets. And, and the, the photographs that came with this letter show men with like flashlights in their pockets. And, <laughs> oh, and, yeah. And <laughs> they don't carry purses. They need a place for their stuff. <laughs> They carry more but than one. it's walks. nice to have all those pockets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Somebody has something important to tell you. Good morning. You're on the air with Galen Unold. Oh, it is important. <laughs> this is Beth. And you know what? When Tom and I are out together, if he would have cargo shorts on, then I would be happy. There would be so many fewer things I'd have to carry in my purse. <laughs> oh, so you're okay with yeah. cargo shorts. Yeah, oh, yeah. Here, honey, put this in your purse. Oh, put this yeah, in your purse for me, please. Yeah. You know, meanwhile, I'm walking all sideways from the way of my purse. <laughs> how, how many pockets yeah, in a pair of cargo, cargo shorts? shorts? How many pockets? Is it? Uh, you could get as many as five in there. Five right? pockets. Five pockets. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> well, there's... Just iron, iron down the corners of those pockets. That's the only thing. <laughs> iron down the corners. Oh, no. You don't iron shorts. Yeah, yeah. You let, oh, let those corners like flap pocket. up. Yeah, those corners I, I are supposed to... I come to with a single... Up like window shades, you know? <laughs> It's supposed to be yeah, the, the I, flying I, nun look, I yeah. think, is what you're looking for. <laughs> That's right. That's it. I can't come up with a single right. scenario in Have which I'd want to iron shorts. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you. Now, 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 Thank c- you. now consider this. Okay, so Beth obviously would not sign the letter. From yeah. from women to men, she would mm-hmm. she would not have you know put her name on that letter. <laughs> mm. Robin, would you have put your name on the letter? No. But see, Galen, if there was yeah. an article of clothing that men really didn't like on women anymore. Yeah, yeah. And we decided <laughs> to have an open letter to the women. Yeah, yeah. This would be the end of life as we know it. <laughs> exactly. Well, here's the problem, Larry. Here's the problem. <laughs> Men wouldn't have to write the letter because the women would write it to themselves. Really? Wait a yeah. minute. But there was a fashion once upon a time that's not out there, out there anymore, but I used to think it really looked awful. It was those padded shoulders. I never understood the padded shoulders. Oh, the 80s? 
the, the, yeah. the whenever that was yeah you see that's when i would have written an open letter dynasty in dallas dear dear ladies Mm-hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> no, there's some looks out there that are pretty bad, Larry. Some are extreme. Do you have one? Padded shoulders. Well, you, you've got not everybody can pull off everybody's looks, right? Yoga pants can be very flattering. Yoga pants. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This is this is an interesting part. garment too. Yeah. Yes, I'm I'm actually a fan of yoga pants <laughs> for the most part. Right, but, but well, there the, are also times where it puts curves where there shouldn't be any curves. Uh, yeah, but but here's the thing about yoga pants. Let me tell you about yoga pants. First of all, I've become I've become somewhat of an expert on yoga pants mm-hmm. because oh, I, okay. I be- know that. and let me tell you why because I sit by a window <laughs> at the mall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I see plenty of yoga pants go past. Yes. So does Joe. Plenty. Yes, I, I don't does. know if Robin sees any, but I know Joe and I see a lot of them. <laughs> all right, and here's the the, the scientific. Uh, peculiarity. You've got some real dad on. <clears throat> well, there, there, there's a mystery associated with the yoga pants. Okay. If there if there are five people walking past with yoga pants, mm. and four of them look horrible, mm-hmm. you won't see them <laughs> because your eye goes to the one that looks good. <laughs> fair enough. You don't even That's see. You don't even see the other four men with yoga pants. I heard that they're out there. I haven't seen one. <laughs> Any man he wears like could be uh, long bike shorts. Come on, let that go, man. Yeah, right. Just let that go. <laughs> let that go. I, I I see that. I'm like, what are you? What are you doing? And they're always like over fifty year old white dudes. Exactly. Or really That's me. Looking. F- over fifty year old yeah. white dude. Yeah. <laughs> long biker shorts on. <laughs> Come right. on. You, you don't need those biker shorts. And yes, I'm talking to you. No. <laughs> wear Never cargo wear shorts while you're Come riding your bike. <laughs> I'd rather you wear cargo shorts. <laughs> At least that's a, you know. Good morning. You're on the air with Galen. You know. You don't have yes. that much talk of the world. Good morning, everybody, and Galen. <clears throat> Say, what do you think about bringing bringing back uh, pedal pushers? Pedal pushers. Oh, I like sure those. what even pedal pushers are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what those are. They were great back in my day. They, they showed a lot of leg, and I really enjoyed those. <laughs> <laughs> pedal pusher. Okay. Women wear Larry, those. Larry, Larry, I, don't, Larry, I want to know what a pedal pusher is. I'm thinking it's a clam digger. Is it a clam digger? Yeah, they're it's they're a clam, a digger. clam diggers, but they're a, a little bit shorter because they end right below the knee, and then they have a slit up the side, which is only... You know, as as long as the uh, knee, so that when it flares out when a woman's walking, it looks like uh, uh, tulips. You know, the the petals on a tulip. That's why they call them petal pushers. Mm-hmm. A woman walking, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few guys in those skinny jeans, and <laughs> it doesn't do a thing for me. Oh, the skinny jeans. Yeah. See that that's another. I mean, I've style. seen a few guys in it's another them, style that I don't see any for women. If if, if, <laughs> if there are guys wearing that, I don't see them. <laughs> Skinny jeans and, and yoga pants are kind of in the same category for me. <laughs> <laughs> or as Joe Martone says, they're painted on. That's not real clothing. That's painted on clothing. No, that's right. That's we should right. have painted on clothing. All right, so, here. so I, I did tell you it was about uh, cargo shorts and egos. So, yes. So here's the ego part of this. Do you Are you aware of your ego being a problem? Does your ego get in the way? Of wearing cargo shorts? Yeah, absolutely. Of, 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 in anything. Like, do, yeah. are you aware? Do you have a? Do you monitor your ego? <laughs> uh, yeah, you have, I think you have to. Sure. Okay, so you you're at the. My rule of thumb is is you don't wrap your ego up in, in your work. You can be proud of your work, but you also have to allow your work to be criticized, or you'll never improve. Okay, so you would probably never be a good real estate agent. Mm-hmm. Because real estate agents, for some reason, they're selling houses, but the billboards show their faces. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> You, you, you <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any billboards. They, you know, it's a personal relationship, and they want to be trusting. Yeah, oh, I understand yeah. the reason. Yeah. But do they have to be that big? Yeah, they're huge. Oh, I'm with you. I mean, it's Real, you know who else does that? Lawyers. Insurance. Oh yeah, insurance, yeah. Insurance, yeah. 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 and some attorneys. And again, it's the same mentality. It's but the but same at least they want to okay. But at least with them. attorneys and insurance agents, there's really no picture you can put. What are you going to put a picture of a wreck? Yeah. We're gonna put a picture. You're an ambulance chaser. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you know the one guy who shouldn't have his picture up there is that vasectomy billboard guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've done like one, you know, four million vasectomies. <laughs> 
I'm going to you. I'm going to you. I know what you're talking about. I'm going to you because I've seen your billboard and you look like a good guy. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. You look like the kind of guy I would like to have down there with a pair of scissors. That's right. Go yeah. to town, my man. Go to town. But see, but see, the, the, the real estate agents, they've got a beautiful product. They, and we've got signs these days that can be changed in, in the flip of a switch. Yeah. Absolutely. So you take these beautiful signs, you put a picture of the house that you've got for sale. Here's a house. It's Again, but then it's not my face. It's not your face. It's the right. ego. The ego yeah. gets away. I, 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 I was thinking about this. I was saying, you know what? If you're in a real estate agent, you want to be the best real estate yeah. agent in town, get one of those electronic signs, mm-hmm. right? Buy the whole 24 hours a day. Yeah. And, and, st- and show the price and the, and the monthly payment it would be. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. You would be selling so many houses. Yeah. Here's the, you know what the one, the one billboard where they put faces on that I've never understood? No. And that's radio t- radio DJs. <laughs> <laughs> Like for the morning show, seriously, it's like, yeah. uh, you know, um, I I, when I was on a show in Jacksonville. They're like, yeah, let's do this. We, we we're going to do a billboard campaign. And my co-host is like, yeah, you're going to put our faces on there. Mm. And I'm like, nobody wants to see our face. This whole mm-hmm. job is about ego. This yeah. whole job. Yes, it is. Every everything about <laughs> this is about ego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you don't need my face on a billboard. No, you don't need my face on a billboard either. Mm-mm, In fact, I, I, think my, I, I think my face was on a billboard for one week or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think we got a picture Very of proud of you. They, they took it of off. Of course you did. Because of yeah. Larry's ego. It was up there. No, it had nothing to do with me. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> it, it was, they just, Dan and Joe decided, you know, we should sell that morning show a little bit and put mm-hmm. Robin and Larry's face yeah. up there. <laughs> yeah, I remember when he did it. I remember when he did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know they looked for stand-ins for a while first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> of course. Well, I'm I thought, I thought, I thought, I'm thought that. Kidding. I've often thought that when I go to any public event, I should hire an escort. A, a, a pretty lady escort. A drop dead gorgeous. One. Yeah, I mean, just, just because ultra because ultra the the theory model. is nobody will see me. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, they won't. And they, they won't automatically them. think better of you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he must have something. Going so here are the on. so here are the three That's right. the three Women steps. Here are the three steps to uh, free yourself from your ego. If you have oh, any, okay. you ready? Okay. Yoga. <laughs> Practice yoga. Okay. That, that, that's out. I know. I don't get it, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, okay. N- <laughs> never come. I find people who do yoga are very egotistical. <laughs> about their yoga. Well, ne- I do yoga. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't make that. I've got a yoga class. <laughs> <laughs> never complain is, is step number two. Yeah. And step number three is to always be grateful. Exactly. There you go. We don't complain and we're always grateful. No, I, I don't know what I yoga complain. has to do with anything. I don't either. I don't either. But <laughs> yoga was first on the list. Yes. Is that all you had? That, <clears> that's that it. The, there were three steps. That list was made by somebody who has a yoga billboard with their picture on it. <laughs> <laughs> Doing something called like the flying monkey. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, or, the, or the upside down dog. <laughs> exactly. Or pronouncing the word pilates like Pilates. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> pilates. It is Pilates. It's not Pilates. <laughs> That's right. I, know. <laughs> I don't see three syllables there. You go, there. Where? Good stuff, man. Uh, all right, Galen, where is the blood mobile today? Comedy gold. <laughs> uh, we're actually at your old building. We're at the uh, at Times Customer Service. So oh, nice. We're, uh, right there in the Cascades. Excellent. Go down there, blood. If you can't get there, then just walk across the street <laughs> because that's where life's up is on the I'm boulevard. I'm sure you'll find it one way or the other. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Donate blood. It's the only way there's a blood supply is because people like you go out and, and take a half hour out of your day and donate blood. Exactly. Right. You might get a yeah. cookie. You might get some juice. You might or have popcorn. Some nice conversation. Yeah. Smiling face as always. Get an Good opportunity stuff. to make a joke about. Relationships, <laughs> Larry Vigo, <laughs> and cargo and shorts. Pick up line. <laughs> <laughs> Gail, have a great day. All right, thanks, you guys. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. There's a search for a bomber. Thai police say deliberately targeted foreigners outside one of the country's most popular shrines. 
A mobile phone capturing the sheer ferocity of the blast. Michelle Clifford with Fox Sister Network. Sky News says police are looking for a man seen on video. He can be seen putting down a rucksack and walking off before the deadly explosion which killed and maimed dozens. Compounding fear in Bangkok today, a terrifying moment. After an unidentified man threw an explosive device off a bridge, sending water cascading into the air. Police say if it had not landed in the water, it would have caused injury. The Pentagon says it's planning to increase its use of drones by about 50% over the next several years, and a trial continues for the upstate New York man accused of trying to assemble a mobile x-ray device meant to kill people at a mosque and an Islamic center. Fox News, we report, you decide.